Hello everyone, welcome to Curious Minds Canada YouTube channel. I am your science facilitator Pooja. In this video, we are going to learn about the science 6th class chapter 3 Mindful Eating A Path to a Healthy Body Exercise Question and Answers. First one, pick the odd one out and give reasons. First question, Jovar, Bajra, Ragi, Channa. So, Channa is a odd one. Jovar, Bajra, Ragi are millets, whereas Channa is a pulse. Second one, kidney beans, green gram, soya bean, rice. The odd one is rice. Reason, kidney beans, green gram, soya bean are pulses, whereas rice is a cereal. Second question, discuss traditional versus modern culinary practices in India answer traditional practices cooking was mostly done on traditional stoves second one grinding was done manually using tools like stone grinder modern practices using modern gas stoves second one grinders and mixers are used for grinding third question a teacher says that good food may act as medicine. Ravi is curious about this statement and has some questions for his teacher. List at least two questions that he can ask. Answer. First one. How does good food act like medicine for our body? Second one. Give examples of food that are considered as medicine. Fourth question. Not all delicious foods are necessarily healthy. Well, not all nutritious foods are always enjoyable. Share your thoughts along with few examples. Answers. Foods like chocolate, cakes, chips, pizza are very tasty but not nutritious. These foods contain lot of sugar, oil and spices which are not good for our health. Nutritious foods like boiled vegetables, Pulses, green leafy vegetables may not be always tasty but are very good for health. These foods contain nutrients which help us to be healthy and strong. Fifth question. Medu does not eat vegetables but enjoys biscuits, noodles and white bread. He often has stomachache and constipation. What changes should we make in his diet to get rid of his problems? Explain your answer. Answer. Medu should include whole grains, whole pulses, fresh fruits and vegetables in his diet. These food items contain roughages which will help him to get rid of constipation. Sixth question. Reshma had trouble seeing things in dim light. The doctor tested her eyesight and prescribed a particular vitamin supplement. He also advised her to include a few food items in her diet. First, which deficiency disease she is suffering from? Which food component may be lacking in her diet? Suggest some food items that she should include in her diet to overcome this problem. Let's see the answer. First one. Reshma is suffering from night blindness. Second answer, vitamin A is lacking in her diet. Third answer, Reshma can include foods like carrot, spinach, papaya, green leafy vegetables in her diet. Seventh question, you are provided the following. Canned fruit juice, fresh fruit juice, fresh fruit. Which one would you prefer and why? Answer, I would prefer fresh fruit over canned ju fruit juice and fresh fruit juice. Because fresh fruit provide more nutrients and dietary fiber. And canned fruit juices have added sugars which is not good for our health. Eighth question, Gaurav got a fracture in his leg. His doctor aligned the bones and put on a plaster. The doctor also gave him calcium tablets. On the second visit, the doctor gave him vitamin D syrup along with calcium tablets. Refer to figure 3.5 and answer the following questions. First question, 
Why did the doctor give calcium tablets to Gaurav? Answer is the doctor gave calcium tablets because calcium plays a very important role in healing of bones. Second question. On the second visit, why did the doctor give vitamin D syrup along with the calcium tablets? Answer. The doctor gave vitamin D syrup along with calcium tablets because vitamin D helps in calcium absorption. Third question. What question arises in your mind about the choices made by the doctor in giving the medicines? Answer. The question that arises in mind is why vitamin D syrup is given in second visit. Ninth question. Sugar is an example of carbohydrates. Sugar is tested with iodine solution but it does not change to blue black color. What can be a possible reason? Answer. Sugar is a simple carbohydrate. Iodine only reacts with char and turns to a blue black color. But it does not react with simple carbohydrates like sugar. Uh, there is one small mistake over here. It reacts with starch. Okay. Then 10th question. What do you think of Raman's statement? All starch are carbohydrates but not all carbohydrates are starches. Describe the activity and design of an activity to test your answer. Answer statement given is correct. Carbohydrate include sugar, rice and potato. Perform iodine test by adding iodine solution to each sample. If sample turns blue black color, it shows the presence of starch. 11th question. While using iodine in the laboratory, a few drops of iodine fell on Mishti's socks and a few fell on her teacher's sari. The drops of iodine on sari turned blue black while the color on the socks did not change. What can be a possible reason? Answer. Mishti's teacher's sari must be made up of cotton. It is a starch. Starch turns color to blue black. Mishti's socks would have not contained starch, so her socks didn't change its color. Twelfth question. Why are millets considered a healthy choice of food? Can eating juice millet, just millets, suffice for the nutritional requirements of the body? Discuss. Answer. Millets are considered as a healthy choice of food because of their health benefits. They are good source of vitamins, minerals, dietary fibers, carbohydrates and proteins. Yes, eating just millets can suffice for nutritional requirements of the body as they contribute to a balanced diet. 13th question. You are given a sample of solution. How would you check the possibility of it being an iodine solution? Answer. To check if the sample solution is iodine solution, then the following test can be performed. Iodine test. Add a few drops of sample solution to starch solution. If the given sample solution is iodine, then the starch solution will turn to blue-black color. Next, extra questions are given here. First main, fill in the blanks. Glucose is an example of dash. Answer, carbohydrates. Second one, dash and dash are called as energy giving food. Answer, carbohydrates and fats. Third question, edible mushrooms are good source of dash. Answer, protein. Fourth one, bleeding and swollen gums are symptoms of a disease called dash. Answer, scurvy. Fifth one, vitamins and minerals are called as dash nutrients. Answer, protective. Second main, right, true or false? First question, fat is a source of stored energy. True. Second one, sports persons need carbohydrates in larger quantities to build their muscles. False. Third one, vitamin B is present in citrus fruits like lemons and oranges. False. Fourth one, deficiency of iodine causes goiter. True. Fifth one, Water helps in absorption of nutrients from the food. True. Sixth one, fruits and vegetables are rich in dietary fibers. 
true. Third main, match the food components with deficiency diseases. Food components and deficiency diseases are given, you have to match it. Vitamin A, loss of vision. Vitamin B, beriberi. Vitamin C, scurvy. Vitamin D, rickets. Calcium, bone and tooth decay. Iodine, goiter. Iron, anemia. Next, fourth main, give two examples for each food components given below. Vitamin A, carrot and papaya. Carbohydrates, rice, banana. Proteins, milk, egg. Fats, butter, ghee. Roughage, fruits, millets. Vitamin B, wheat, paneer. Vitamin C, orange, lemon. Vitamin D, fish, milk. Calcium, milk, curd. Iodine, iodized salt. Iron, pomegranate, green leafy vegetables. Then next, fifth main, answer the following questions. First one, name the major nutrients in our food. Answer, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, water and roughages. Second question, why proteins are called as body building foods? Answer, protein rich foods helps in growth and repair of our body. These are therefore called as body building foods. Third question, what is balanced diet? Answer, a diet that has all essential nutrients, roughage and water in the right amount for the proper growth and development of the body is known as a balanced diet. Fourth question. Why millets are called as nutri cereals? Answer. Because millets are the good source of vitamins, minerals like iron and calcium and dietary fibers. So they are called as nutri cereals. Fifth question. What are nutrients? Answer. Food components that provide energy, support growth, help repair and protect our body from diseases and maintain various bodily functions are called as nutrients. So these are the questions um, and the answers. Actually I have given extra answers questions also and also the answers for the questions given in your textbook. I hope this video is helpful for you all. If yes, please like our video. If it is helpful for you others also, please share it. And if you have not yet subscribed our channel, please subscribe it. Thank you.